Hey everybody, Chad here from Dark Monk, and today I'm going to show you how to rewick an old sword. To do this project, you're going to need a few things. First off, an old sword that needs rewicking. Second, some one inch sleeving, Kevlar sleeving. Get it about four inches longer than the area that you're going to wick. If you're going to use two layers, double that length, add a few inches. Some super glue, a pair of good scissors, Kevlar thread and needle, and just as a pro tip, some type of wooden dowel or some round object that you can wrap the thread around as you're lashing and pull against so you're not just pulling against your finger, kind of cutting off the circulation. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to begin by starting with the Kevlar sleeve, move some stuff out of the way. Um, grabbing the Kevlar thread that we have, let's start by just making a little surgeon's knot, which means make a loop. Go over once, go over twice, and then take the end of the Kevlar sleeving, put your loop through it, and tighten it down. So tighten it, get it about one inch away from the end, get it nice and tight. Now, if I had already thought ahead, and this is a rookie mistake, already take the top off of your super glue. It makes it a lot easier. Now, super glue here works kind of as a third hand. I'm just going to put a little drop right on the piece where the, the surgeon's knot is, wait a few seconds, and then what I can do is actually let go entirely of the surgeon's knot, and it's going to stay tight, which is really nice. So now I'm going to lash once, lash twice. I'm not trying to overlap, I'm trying to get it right beside. There's three times lash four times and keeping it tight so I'm still kind of holding it tight I'm going to do the same thing again put a few drops of super glue right on the Kevlar thread hold it there for I don't know count to ten maybe and what you're going to find is it's just going to form up it's almost kind of like how fiberglass or other um, resin based things carbon fiber are made we're actually using a resin or bonding agent around a really good fiber which is uh, Kevlar in this case and making a really hard compound so now that's done, uh, frankly, I probably don't even need to tie another surgeon's knot because that stuff is so tight, but I'm going to go ahead and put two more surgeon's knots in here. Um, let me get this in the direction I'm used to. So one, two, so surgeon's knot one, nice and tight, and then do the same thing again. Surgeon's knot number two, one, two, sorry if my hands are in the way, tighten it down. And with that tightened down, I'm going to take my glue and go just a little drop right around and cover the entire Kevlar thread. And you'll see it's, you know, I'm not being liberal with the glue, and it'll get a nice little glow and sheen to it. Now again, I can wait just uh, maybe 10 seconds. I can go right back in, trim off the end bits. Probably want to wait a little bit till it's dry because you get glue in your scissors. That's not fun at all. Um, and then what I'm going to do is trim off the end, not a ton, maybe leave about a half inch because this becomes this kind of a little cushion at the end of the sword. Just about like that. And that's what you want to end up with before you start the next step. Okay, so moving right along, clear my work area. Always watch out for the super glue. I'm going to come to my sword, basically start it. What I'm going to do is take this piece and make sure the super glue's dry. You know, you don't definitely don't want it loose. You're going to start kind of pushing it down the middle there. Don't go too far yet, but I've pushed it down in the middle. I'm going to go right over the top of the sword. And what I'm going to do is just milk it right down. There's certainly a lot of analogies that can be made here. I'm not going to do that. Now. Here's a big mistake that I made. <sighs> That's too short. When I said four inches, go ahead and give yourself about eight inches more than the thing because what happens is this stretches out wide. This is wider than what this normally is, so it came up short, which is unfortunate. I'm going to finish this video like this. However, definitely add yourself another four, eight inches to it. So my mistake, but you can learn from my mistakes. All right. For the next step, now that I've rolled it all the way down, just make sure the tip, you know, put your hand down so it's nice and tight. I'm going to tuck under the last maybe one inch. This is why you'd wanted it normally to extend beyond the very end by a good inch and just trim off. If you do have extra, trim off about an inch or so past the end of the old Kevlar. Trim that and then just tuck this under like I'm doing here. Um, if you have a fid, that's my go-to tool these days for a lot of things. You can certainly do it without. Don't need that dowel quite yet. What I'm doing is just taking that edge and making sure it's underneath and down as flat as I can. Like I said, a fid would be a lot better for this, but I'm going to just do that real quick. 
probably speed this up on camera until I have a rounded edge at the bottom here, but you do want it straight all the way around. Where this is not straight, I'm gonna go back in here, push it in a little, and get it nice and straight. Perfect, perfect enough, at least for this video. You get the idea. So with it, it's overlapping about an inch and it's straight all the way around, I'm gonna take our needle, Kevlar thread, thread it up. Okay. And to make life easy on ourselves, we're gonna tie a knot in the other end. And this is just gonna stop it from you know, giving us, it gives us an anchor point to be able to sew through something and have it uh, you know, not have the other end of the thread. So I just did a double surgeon's or a surgeon's knot. So you do a regular round knot, go through it twice, pull it tight, and you get a nice little little bulge in the thread. Going to go somewhere near the end, but not too far. My goal here is to actually get it into the old Kevlar that's underneath. So I'm just going in. I really like these uh, stainless steel uh, rounded needles um, because they have a really nice tendency to then be easy to come back out and they don't break as long as you don't never grab the needle by the eyelet with a pair of pliers. Like I'm even doing this one by hand, but you know, we got a, an unexpected knot in the thread and that's quite unfortunate. Let's see if I can pull that all the way through. Did not see that happen. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna go all the way down to, there's the knot we really wanted. And it's not being super friendly at the moment, but that's okay. Kind of going to do a similar technique to what we did before, in that I'm going to lash all the way around one time. And again, I'm going to pull this down real quick. And the reason that I took the needle into the old Kevlar is to give it a nice anchor point down here. It's probably overkill, but why not do it? Let's let's be better safe than sorry. I'm going to go ahead and take the needle off, move that to the side, and what I'm going to do is just start a lash really close to the end. It looks like my anchor knot wasn't quite big enough, so I'm going to get myself once around. And again, what I'm trying to do is keep the uh, thread right beside itself. So like that. Um, to make this uh, easy on myself, I'm going to apparently put super glue in my nice table, which is unfortunate. And now on my hands and now everywhere. That's gonna make the blooper reel, except for this is the real reel. Um, I'm gonna put a little drop right on the overlapping thread. So I wrapped it around twice, made sure the thread was beside itself, and then uh, just put a few drops of glue on that. And that's just gonna help hold it. Just, again, it's kinda of like having a third hand while we're doing this. All right, so now that that's holding it, and this is where having um, an extra like little wooden dowel, I like mine normally to be much bigger than this. That's what I had laying around. Because now I can pull on it, and you can see I'm kind of pulling with the, the wooden dowel, not my fingers. And you can go and get a really nice lash, really kind of giving it a nice little amount of pressure. Um, I am trying to keep the Kevlar really close, um, uh, Kevlar thread really close to the previous layers. I don't think there's a right or wrong number of layers here, but what you definitely want to do is have it tight. If the threads are loose, if they stick out the Kevlar thread, it's going to burn. And that's absolutely what you don't want to have happen. So, so I'm again just kind of pulling it tight using this uh, wooden dowel to be my kind of pull mechanism. Not doing the best job because trying to do this for the camera keeps it quite a ways away from me. Now, I'm going to put a few drops of glue. So here's my end thread. I'm going to put a few drops of glue about one inch or so before that. Again, this is just a nice temporary hold. I'm going to wait, I don't know, five, ten seconds. It's amazing, you know, super glue dries so quickly. Um, it's already where I need it to be. My end section's not too huge. All right, so one, two, surgeon's knot. And I like, go ahead, put a drop of glue right on the surgeon's knot. And while it's still wet, pull it tight. Give that just a second. It's already, already bonded down. Um, no reason not to do it one more time. 
I try to do that sort of that second knot too quickly I find it just loosens up the first and my job right now is literally just to coat all of that Technora thread with the super glue try not to cut when you cut anything you know make sure you don't cut the sleeving one thing I didn't show you was how to do two layers and the real secret to doing two layers is putting a layer on first before you lash the end and come you know start down here but be a little short of the end uh, or basically right at the end go all the way up to the top do that lash at the top we did then push the Kevlar inside itself go right back down to the end and do everything else the exact same so the first layer is underneath the layer I just showed you how to do um, I'm going to use the super glue the same way I showed you before that we did on the top and just put a nice I'm being uh, very giving with the amount of super glue